In this video, I'm going to show you how to mask a roof line. I've been getting some questions on how we go about masking it, and I'm going to show you right now. And we use a, a hand masker with inch and a half tape on the masker itself, and then we tack it down with one inch tape. And I like using 3M 2020 tape because it has really good tackiness and will stick really good to a roof. And the beginning process of this, of this is actually in the power washing process. When you actually power wash your structure, you want to make sure you wash the roof line really good with your power washer because it's probably going to be pretty dusty and dirty and it makes it a lot harder for the tape to actually stick to it. So when we're up here power washing the structure, we're running around power washing that roof line, getting any leaves, debris, moss, mold, or dust out of there and it makes it way better and way easier for our tape to stick. So here I go, I'm going to show you how to mask it right now. So up here to begin this process, I got a dormer up here and it's gonna be the softened fascia run into the roof. And I like taking a lot of cardboard shields and tucking it in up, up inside there. It's a lot harder to get up inside there to mask. And cardboard shields, you tuck them in up around there so you don't get any overspray. Then I'm gonna begin laying my masking down after that. So I'm gonna tuck it. I'm gonna actually tuck about four to five cardboard shields and make a circular arc around there and start masking now. I've got my masker. I'm gonna start working my way down this roof. Once I run a roll, a strip of masking, then I just take my one inch tape and I like to just put it down on the roof and if you step on it, it actually makes it hold really a lot better, especially in windy conditions. Just like that, and in these areas, I'm gonna end up setting a drop cloth to cover the extra space in and around the masking. You can see I'm just going to take my masking and I'm just using my fingers just to walk it along the roof and press it down. I'm just gonna take, tack that row down. And really make sure you step on it and step on it well, and it'll stick way better. Around the corners is where you're gonna get the most overspray, so I like to double up the corner. Just like that, and just make sure you're pretty liberal with your one inch tape and tacking it down really well because just the slightest breeze is going to pull it up and that would be a bummer to have that be a waste of time to all spin and have it blow up. Well, when the office calls, you got to answer. This is Chris. Now hopefully you can see I've got my cardboard shields worked around the fascia and soft it how it's in there. And instead of trying to crawl up inside there and mask, it's a lot easier to use cardboard shields.
Well, hopefully those simple masking tips on a roof line will help you out to get your masking done a little bit faster and keep the overspray off your roof. Don't forget to use drop cloths up on the roof too. If you're not comfortable with the overspray, get your masking down and then just run four by 12 drop cloths drop cloth runners right